Good morning, Glossier. I'm excited to have you guys get ready with me for my first day of classes back at school after fashion week. Here's my messy dorm bathroom and let's go. Okay, so I am not lying to you guys when I say this is the worst my skin has been in months, which is understandable because it was fashion week and a lot of people are like putting makeup on your face and taking it off. But I might be going to Milan fashion week next week. So I need to let my skin recover. So this routine is going to be very like healing, no makeup, just like letting my skin have a break. This is my cleanser. It's from Skin & Co. Roma. It's the whipped cleansing cream with truffle extract. I really hate for my skin to feel tight after I wash it. So. Mm, can't see, can't see. All right, sorry, that was a little, that was not well planned. Yeah, we're cleansed, we're clean. It's giving clean skin. This truffle, whoa. Okay, hair is pulled back. And we are using the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Solution, which I feel like is really popular for good reason. It's one of those ones that you should work up to. Like start like three, four times a week and work up to every day. But I'm going to be honest, I do use it every day, morning and night. I also put it inside my ears. Is that crazy? Like not in the ear. I just like clean the, the surface of the ear. Oh, also I got this coffee from the dining hall, which is awful. Like you have to drink 500 dining hall coffees to get the like caffeine equivalent of like one Starbucks coffee, but it's fine. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Peptide Serum. Glass Skin Refining Serum. I'm Korean, so we all love the glass skin trend. It did originate out of Korean skincare. So I'm a big fan of this serum. And that just went on right after toning, so. Okay, cool, that's on there. So I'm gonna put on some lip balm so that can dry while I do the rest of my routine. This is the Glossier Balm.com, which I really like. I feel very moisturized now on the lips. This is the Caudalie Cream, Creme Sorbet Venosaurus Cream. I like it for a lot of reasons, it smells good. I like the color, if you can't tell. My phone is pink, you can't tell I'm using it. So, so we're gonna put on that. But before I do everything else, I'm gonna add Tula Rose and Grow Get It. Rose and Glow Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I love this stuff. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use concealer today, but this is like the non-negotiable natural concealer. It does get a little white. You have to just kinda like moisturize it in. So the Rifa Roller is like my finishing facial massage. It doesn't take me very long. I just go like one, two, and you can see how well it grabs the skin. Three, and then I'll do a little bit of brows. I feel like I look a lot more awake already. I'm someone who like loves the beverage. Like I'll drink water and coffee at the same time and be like, anyway. Now I think we're gonna get into makeup. I'm using the Glossier Boy Brow in Clear. I just like to brush up where it'll dry. Don't worry guys. It's kind of upward and to the side, because if you go like straight up, you'll look crazy. And I kind of keep brushing them until I have like the right balance of like, you know, like a high fashion, like brushed up look and not looking shocked. <laughs> I think the first Glossier product I ever had was the Boy Brow. I think a lot of people, their first Glossier product was the Boy Brow. So I was really happy to do their video because I've been like a long time fan. Okay, brows are brushed. Okay, so there's two eyeliners I've been using recently. This one, gosh, I wish I knew the name. It's also from Dwayne Reed. I don't know what this says. Um, basically, when I was in New York, I like forgot so much stuff. So I went to like my local drugstore and bought a bunch of makeup. And then I have no idea what I'm doing with eyeliner. Look, I really, this is not a makeup tutorial. I hate to tell you that. It's not bad. I'm gonna be a little more careful on this side. Okay, it's called Black Radiance. I'm not sure what the brand is, but it's from the drugstore in New York, but it's called Black Radiance. And it comes with the eyeliner and the brush, which I love. So now I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize Duo. Now we're getting into some more high-end makeup vibes, but kind of a premier pencil. I'm just gonna help the wing form, but maybe we'll do a little bit of a sparkly waterline. Uh, I'm not sure if that worked. You kind of did. And then kind of shimmery, I like to draw an X on each brow and massage it in. And I do one down my nose, just to. NARS Medium Dark Concealer in Biscuit. I'm terrified the people that I share this bathroom with can hear me making a, like a makeup tutorial and they're laughing at me, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna do like this little kind of upward. 
brightening up the mid face, as we call it. Everything I've learned about makeup, which is not very much, I have learned from fashion shows. Like I once did a show and someone told me my color and NARS makeup and I've been using NARS concealer ever since because I just know what my color is. And the biscuit is my um, brightening color, um, so under eyes. Oh, I still look tired. <laughs> Biscotti, he, oh, so dirty. Huda Beauty um, concealer stick. And I don't use it the way you think you use a concealer stick. I, like, I take it off, my fingers are clean, and I just, I mean, I have not had a breakout this big in a while, but I just literally cover the problem areas. Like my chin's a little red. I don't even know why. So I do that. Oh, I got it on my lip. Okay, well. And just a little bit on that spot. And I like that my fingers make it a little bit sheer. Should we contour a little bit? Why not? I'm going to like a glass anyway. So we should just contour. So this is, oh, I love this. This is the Kaja Beauty Beauty Bento in the color Mocha Mellow. So my mom gave us a little tiny Chanel brush. It used to have a cap. I lost it. I'm just going to buff this out. Doo -doo -doo. I feel like that'll do. So for a little color, I'm gonna use the Glossier Cloud Paint in shade Haze. Best thing I ever learned, I learned from my sister, we both love Glossier Cloud Paint. So instead of taking off the silver thing, we like poke a hole with like a needle or an earring in like the cover. So you don't like have a ton come out. And this will last you like this tube forever. One under my eye and then kind of going toward the top of my cheekbones and we're literally gonna like sweep it off but like also don't even want to leave any i'm out of coffee Ooh, okay this is very exciting for this video they sent me a brand new color and it is called punch so excited oh it's such a pretty color punch i love you i'm ready to do a heavier moment because i like it so much oh it's so pretty I always put my lip color on my cheeks, especially when I'm like out and about leaving the house. Like, might even be a little too much cheek color today, but you're a beauty blender and like buff out too much color. Hey! Okay. This is the Coco Kind My Light, and this is the NARS um, Orgasm Multiple Stick. So my first ever blush was not the stick version, it was the palette version of the NARS Orgasm. And I couldn't buy it from Nordstrom. I had to like write it down on the paper. And I was like, do you have this color? But anyway, I'm a grown up, NARS Shade Orgasm. Get over it. See, now I'm getting even pinker. I love color. Oh, okay. This is the other Coco Kind shade, the Shadow Glow. And it's a little bit bronzier, so I'll look a little less pink, a little bit more warmed up. So that's the makeup situation. That's what we're going for today. Last thing is mascara, and this is the L'Oreal Noir Balm. I love it. It's not waterproof because waterproof mascara is so hard to get off and bad for your lashes. So one thing I learned from a makeup artist at a show is fan these lashes out, the middle ones up, and the inner ones toward your nose. Sometimes I take this brow code and I'll just go like that. Oh wow, my ring light turned off. Well, getting the real me today. Add a little upward length to the brow. Oh, too much. <laughs> Sometimes when I want to use a, a fail-safe wing because it's so light, I will use a brow pencil. Now we're on to hair. Oh dear. Roller lash from Benefit. And I'm just gonna solidify that line. Eh, no, I screwed up. Huh. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. And then I mostly wipe it all off. Whenever I do makeup, I just add stuff and then wipe it all off. But as I was saying, we're doing hair. I'm just gonna make sure my part is where I want it to be. Ta-da! This is the Drunk Elephant Wild Marula Tangle Spray. I normally don't buy things that are for all hair types, but this one actually works for my hair. We want to refresh a little bit. And there's a little bit of frizz at the top, so. Moroccan oil. A lot of oils come and gone. Moroccan oil since I was like three. And this is just for the top layer, so it's not frizzy. And to add a little bit of shine. Okay. That is my morning routine. Um, I'm gonna go get ready for class. It will probably be this top and jeans because I'm tired of wearing elaborate clothing after fashion week. But yeah, that is my light makeup, hair care, 
skincare moment. I don't know how to end the video, but yeah. Thank you for visiting my Harvard dorm bathroom and have a great day.